Hello, hello students. My name is Alvin, your YouTube Maths teacher. So today we're going to learn rearranging formula. I have 15 questions for you. If you get all 15 correct, comment down below. Let us start. Okay, now example 1, rearranging formula. So question 1, make x the subject of the formula. Now I want you to pay attention on the equal sign. So this is considered on the left hand side of the equal sign. This is considered on the right hand side of the equal sign. When you say make x the subject means you want x on the left hand side. This one stay on the left, okay? So I'm going to shift this plus 3 towards the other side. What you need to do right now is you copy back x, write equal, and then you write y. Copy back is already originally on the right hand side, so I copy back. Now this plus 3 move towards the other side will become minus 3. So write minus 3 like that. So that's the answer for the first question 1a. Now let's show you another time. I want you to make x on the left hand side. So shift everything else towards the right hand side. I'm going to shift minus 6 towards right hand side. Okay, remember that. So copy back x is already on the left. Equal sign you copy back. 5y same you are gonna copy back now the one that you're gonna shift towards the other side you change the symbol right so from minus 6 shift it toward the other side will become plus 6 see that everything else you just copy back only okay okay for question C I'm gonna purposely make a mistake so watch alright so I'm gonna write minus x equals to 10 and then you notice that I'm gonna shift y towards the other side so from positive will become negative, right? So I'm going to write minus y. Now you cannot leave the subject x as a negative x, cannot. So you have to make it positive. In order to counter that, let me show you one more time, okay? Let's show you the easier way. Alright, now why don't we change the minus x towards the other side first? Make it positive, that would be much easier. So y, you copy back, it's already on the left hand side, never mind equal sign copy back 10 also you copy back now i'm going to shift my minus x towards the other side become plus x lo, right plus x now shift back your plus 10 towards left hand side 10 move towards left hand side so i'm going to write y first followed by minus 10 because positive 10 move towards the other side will become minus 10 and then you write equals to x now you saw that x is already the subject but just rewrite x equals to rather than y minus 10 equals to x. So subject always put on the left hand side x first, copy that and then follow by this. So you write y minus 10. So subject always put it on the left hand side, just rewrite only, interchange. Right, question D. So one of my favorite technique to do is to kick towards the other side, alright? So you see this, x over 2 over means divide so when you kick the bottom bottom number of the fraction towards the other side is multiply all right just imagine that there is a guy here and you're gonna kick this two go over the other side all right just imagine that make hard but it's soft okay so now x over two i want you to kick two towards the other side then you become multiply yeah? become multiply so you're going to write x equals to 2 times p and then when you say multiply, you just write side by side, that's it. So you're going to write x equals to 2p. There you go, that's the answer for d. Alright, let's do e. So we have x over 5. Remember, anything at the bottom, kick towards the other side. So I want you to kick 5 towards the other side, okay? So kick 5 towards the other side. Now, on the right hand side, you notice that there's actually already having two terms over there. So I want you to put a bracket instead, okay? So write x, drop down, equal. Now, when you do multiplication, it's going to write 5 bracket 3 plus d. That's what I meant. 5 multiplied with the two terms already on the right hand side. So just put a bracket, that's it. You already get the answer for e. Right, anything at the bottom kick towards the other side will become multiply, right? So 4x kind of like drop down, okay? And then you write equal 3y multiply with 5. Okay, now 3y multiply with 5, you're gonna combine them, becoming 15y. Okay, so it's like 3y multiply by 5. 
Alright, now after that you notice that these two is side by side. Side by side means multiply. So I'm gonna shift down 4. Alright, we cannot leave the answer as 4x. It has to be x only. So shift down 4, you become divide. So write x equals to 15y over 4. Question G. Alright, pay attention on question G. Did you notice that it's already side by side? X and the bracket is side by side. Side by side means multiply. So why don't I suggest you shift the whole bracket towards the other side. So shift this one towards the other side, become divide. So X, copy back. This one you get 2 dividing by the whole bracket. So you just write Y plus Z. Okay, so that's the answer for question G. Let's do H. Again, notice that bracket and X is side by side. So it means multiply. Shift the whole bracket towards the other side, becoming divide. Okay, so I'm going to write P. Divide by the whole bracket, which is 2Q plus 3 equals to x. Now, when they say make x the subject, means you write x first, followed by whatever terms on the other side, okay? So, I'm going to rewrite x equals to, copy back what you see. So, I'm going to write 2Q plus 3. So, make it a habit. Subject x, put it on the left hand side. Okay, hey, halfway towards the video, I hope you enjoyed the lesson so far. Don't forget to click like and subscribe to the channel for the best maths edutainment. Let's continue with our lessons. Let's practice some kicking. Okay, so anything at the bottom, kick towards the other side. Okay, just kick towards the other side. So when you kick towards the other side, is multiply. Okay, so I'm gonna write p equals to q x. Now, I want x the only subject. I want it to be only subject. So, I'm going to kick q back towards the other side, becoming divide, okay? Becoming divide. So, you will get p over q is equals to x. Notice that I move q downward, becoming divide. Now, I want you to copy x again on the left-hand side so that it is the subject. There you go. So, that's the answer for i. Now, one more time, you're gonna kick X towards the other side. This one, kick towards the other side. So you will get P plus Q equals to R times X. Or you want to write RX straight away, doesn't matter, okay? It's the same. So let's write RX instead. Now, one more time. Side by side means multiply, yeah? Watch. Side by side means multiply. So you bring R towards the other side, becoming divide. Okay? So P plus Q, copy back, divided by R equals to X. So what I have done is actually moving R towards the other side, becoming divide. Okay? Now you saw the X is already alone. Copy back, make it on the left hand side. So X equals to P plus Q over R. Basically, I'm just rewriting by making X on the left hand side. That's it. Last five, okay? Wow, suddenly got x square lah, got square root. Okay, don't panic. Just do like normal, follow the class. Okay, start. So I can see x square now. Alright, make sure your x is on the left hand side. Just move a first. I'm gonna move a towards the other side. Okay, so becoming divide. Ah. Copy back your x square equals to b over a. Remember when you move towards the other side, it's divide. Okay, now square you move towards the other side becoming square root okay we cannot leave the answer as x square cannot you must be x only so write x equals to square root this whole thing uh, already got b over a so just write back like give it a house to b over a that's the answer okay now one more time now i want to get x on the left hand side only so move everything else towards right hand side so negative d move it first copy back x square equals to e plus d so do one step at a time now i only want x so i'm gonna make my square towards the other side becoming square root all right so write x equals to square root e plus d there you go that's the answer for l okay now let's look at question m if i have already a square root what should i do of course you're gonna shift square root first so i cannot do anything to b i need to shift the square root first okay so x plus a copy back 
and then when you shift the square root towards the other side becoming square okay so you're gonna get b square after that notice that i want x the subject okay everything else shift towards the other side so plus a go here become minus a x copy back b square copy back then you write minus a so there you go i already make x the subject of the formula okay so now square root x minus p equals to qr i can't do much for qr i have to move the square root did you see that x is trapped underneath the square root so i'm going to shift this square root towards another side to become square so x minus p you copy back qr is already there and you have to square both so right bracket on the right hand side qr then square okay now notice that i want x the subject of the formula so i'm gonna shift minus p towards the other side so copy x equals to bracket qr square then you plus p so minus p shifting towards another side will become plus p okay last question notice the two is side by side with another term over there it means multiplication so shift two first okay shift two towards the other side becoming divide all right so let us copy back the square root x minus y equals to p over 2. now what you can see is actually i shift 2 towards the other side becoming divide next step x minus y is trapped underneath a square root so we're gonna shift the square root towards another side to become square okay so write back your x minus y p over 2 you copy back now we have to square the right hand side so you have to put a bracket square okay now last step i want x only the subject so i write x shift your minus y towards the other side so copy back exactly whatever on the right hand side first okay and then you put plus y now there you go so that is the answer for last question o so I hope you learn how to shift left and right of the formula. So that's it. So I hope you learn a few tricks knowing how to shift from negative x to a positive x, knowing how to shift square root and squares, and knowing when to kick the bottom one to become a multiply are all important skills in mathematics. So I hope you learn something from this class and I'll see you in the next class. Bye-bye.